It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with Chief Investment Officer, the man with the plan, and happens to be my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this glorious February weekend? First weekend in February. First weekend in February, Rye, and I'm feeling super. Super. <laughs> yes, uh, because the Philadelphia Eagles are in the Super Bowl Sunday night. I know. It's a big night coming up, and I hate to offend all of our New York audience. <laughs> but I well, know they're we are. Also, they're NFC fans, and we root for the Giants when they're there, and they, um, I think they can root for this long-suffering Philadelphia Eagle fan. <laughs> Hopefully there's <laughs> reciprocity. There. <laughs> Hopefully there's reciprocity there. Well, we have a great show this morning on this Super Bowl weekend for you to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about not ruining your retirement. Bob and I are going to discuss some bad behavior that can potentially derail your retirement. We're going to talk about longevity risk. We're living longer. You have to prepare for it. We're going to talk about what tweaks you need to make to your portfolio to make sure you're prepared for a long retirement. Along with this week's financial pornography, a lot of stuff out there in the financial news media we want to discuss that you need to avoid. Finally, on our spotlight segment today where we review a real retirement plan, we have certified financial planner, my colleague, Michelle McKinnon on the phone. She's going to talk about some of the mistakes this couple is making with their planning and investing so you can avoid those mistakes with your own planning and investing. So let's hop to it. Let's talk about bad behavior. You know, Doing proper planning for retirement often requires changing your mindset on how you do certain things. Bob, let's discuss some behaviors that can be a quick way to mess up your retirement. And one of the things I see very often right now is even though we're retired or we're close to retirement, we're still invested like we're 35. What's up with that? Well, I don't have a problem with it, Rye, as long as you're 35. <laughs> That's right. It'd be nice to be retired at 35, but it uh, didn't work very for me. Very nice. You know, it's, uh, there's a, a couple of ways of doing that, right? You could have uh, sold your your Bitcoin company <laughs> at a young age or inherited a lot of money. <laughs> Let's face it, most people don't retire at 35. But when you are retired, whether you're 68 or 70 or 80, you can't act as if you're 35 years old. You know, you, you can't take that kind of risk. Yeah, and I see that a lot right now. Um, a lot of the portfolios that we analyze, a lot of times you'll have a lot of money concentrated, large cap U.S. stocks, markets going up a lot the last eight, nine years, and all of a sudden you're overweighted in stocks. And the problem with that is, Bob, if the market corrects, you know, you can't afford to have the same kind of pullback in your portfolio like we saw in 2008. You're 10 years older now. Yeah, it's simply right. You don't have the time, right? When you're 35 years old, there'll be corrections. There's... The, there's this rule called reversion to the mean. Everything goes up, comes down, and then goes back up again. You know, there's always potential gains. There's always gains down the road, but you not, might not be here in time to cash in on those gains. So you really have to be more careful once you're retired. Only take as much risk in investing as necessary to get the income you need from your portfolio to stay retired, right? The biggest goal in retirement is to retire and stay retired. Right. Yeah, and I think that's where you have to kind of cross that traverse of, okay, when I'm younger, I'm working, I have a wealth accumulation portfolio. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm five, 10 years away from retirement, in retirement, I have to start building what we call wealth distribution portfolio. And that's really a portfolio that's kind of all weather. You know, if the market corrects, you're not in the same position you were 10 years ago. And that's critical. And there's no time like the present when the wind's at your back, markets have done really well, that's the best time to make adjustments. You don't wanna be reactive, you wanna be proactive. And other bad behavior, Bob, that we see all the time is assuming that when you're retired, your spending habits are gonna be less than when you're working. And I know you and I find all the time with our retired clients, that's just definitely not the case. Hey, Ryan, do you know any boat owners? Boat owners? Um, we used to own a boat when we were kids. Yeah. I love that when boat, somebody, the painkiller. When somebody gets a new boat, do they get a smaller boat? <laughs> Never. It's always a bigger <laughs> boat than the last. <laughs> right. It's always bigger, more expensive boat. No matter what your hobby is, once you're retired and you want to improve the quality of that hobby, guess what you do? You spend more money. 
Yeah, exactly. Not to mention healthcare costs in retirement, not to mention maybe spoiling the grandkids in retirement, not to mm-hmm. mention going on better trips than when you were actually working. Um, and I would say, like, you know, for the most part, Bob, we probably want to prepare for more money in retirement, not less money. And I find that a lot of plans don't factor in all those ancillary costs that you can potentially have when you're retired. Now, they'll realize that their, you know, the real estate taxes are going to go up. Your health insurance costs are going to go up. The cost of health care, it's the number one thing my retired clients complain about every month I talk to them. You know, the cost of health care is going through the roof, and it's something that most people don't plan for, and you need to plan for that. Yeah, you definitely do. And I would say that most plans that if you've had a financial advisor run a plan for you, they never factor that in. And based on the statistics that we've seen, I mean, if you're over 66 and you're a couple, you can plan to spend over a quarter of a million dollars just on medical expenses alone. It's crazy. And you have to think, and we say this a lot, but if a quarter of a million dollars came out of my portfolio tomorrow, how does that affect my lifestyle? And these are all the kind of things you have to run especially when you're getting close to retirement and especially when you're in retirement. This is what you know, planning's all about. The last thing I think about, Bob, is when we think about retirement, a lot of times the mistake we make is we look at retirement as a destination as opposed to a new journey. Yeah, right. It's really, it's, uh, when it comes to retirement planning, right, it doesn't end at age 65 or 70. It's a process. It's an ongoing process. It's a living process that you have to update you know, on an annual basis. Yeah, and I think right now I had a client call me last week. They're six years old. They're already retired, which is pretty sweet. Oh, and I'm really yet. jealous. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Bob, you can you can quit in about 15 years. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're not you're not leaving us. But basically, you know, Marcus had a big run up this year, and sure. the client calls me and says, Ryan, you know, look, look, Mark's done really well here. Let's sell out of all of our stocks. Get out and of everything. Everything, right? And I'm thinking That's to myself, bull market suicide. Su- bull market suicide, exactly. And I said to him, "Look, I mean, you're going to be retired realistically for potentially another 30 years. We need growth in your portfolio. I can't afford to have all of your money in cash and bonds, which you know maybe keep up with inflation. They need some growth over inflation. And that's the thing. If you're retired, you know it's going to be a long journey for most of us. It's going to be a, you know 20, 30 years." Maybe even longer as you know, as we're living longer, longevity extends out. You got to prepare for a long retirement, and that means you're going to have to have a growth engine in your portfolio too. It's not the end of the road when you hit retirement. Well, you know, Rod, it's really simple. You know, financial planning is about overcoming preconceived notions, right? I have this notion that I'm not going to live past 80, or I'm going to only spend this much money, or cost of living is not going to go up because inflation has been low. Yeah. You know, why not run what if scenarios, right? You ran what if scenarios for these folks to show them what if they live longer, right? What if they spend more? You know, what if Jupiter hits Mars tomorrow? I mean, yeah. you have to, that's what planning is about. Yeah, exactly. And if you're sitting there thinking to yourself, I'd like to know what my financial future looks like. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and myself will run for you our famous total financial master plan. We'll do it with no obligation or cost. That's a full review that will factor in all of these issues. How long are you going to live? How much money are you going to need to spend? What unanticipated costs are you going to have in retirement? We'll run all of it for you. We're going to load everything into a personalized portal for you, and we're going to analyze everything on a holistic view. We're going to look at your total portfolio. We're going to upload all those different statements from your brokerage accounts, retirement accounts, 401ks, insurance products, and we're going to do a bird's eye view with our famous financial x-ray. We're going to look at income. How much income does your portfolio produce? Bob and I are going to show you how to increase or optimize that on your portfolio. Income's critical for retirement. We're going to look at fees. What hidden fees are you paying in your portfolio? We're going to break down all the costs in your portfolio and show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. What risks do you have in your portfolio? If the market crashes, if there's a market correction, are you prepared? Is your portfolio retirement ready? We're going to point out all the pitfalls in your portfolio. Then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, and we're going to determine, is your money going to outlive you or are you going to outlive your money utilizing strategies now we've worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? And all you have to do is call 844 
Plan NYC. You can call or text us at 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will run for you our total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan if you don't call 844-PLAN-NYC. Call or text 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with Ryan Payne. We are No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. They really separate themselves from the large brokerages in how important their personal relationship is with you, the client. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. You'll have the freedom to select top investment strategies, not just one particular product. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, Payne Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call today for a complimentary review. 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain market update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Officer here at Payne Capital Management. And despite the weakness at the beginning of February, the month of January had been nothing short of outstanding for the stock market. The S&P 500 gained 7.5% and emerging markets are up already double digits in January which is basically the kind of return many investors expect, not just for a month, but for an entire year. Now for the market, history is on the side of the bulls. You know, the old expression, as goes January, so goes the year. Strong Januaries typically lead to a strong year, and this has been the fifth best January since 1950 for the S&P 500. Now the nine other starts to the year like that have resulted in further gains of 12.3% on average though there was definitely more volatility, you know, in the average year having a 5 or 10% correction. You see, this market last year didn't even have one 5% correction, not normal. And the chances of having two consecutive years of up markets without a 5% correction, well, it's never happened before in history. So that supports our view that we're almost certainly going to see more of downside volatility this year. But you couple the fact that the first five days of January – we're up 2.77%. And any time in history where the first five days are up over 2%, we have a 91% chance of the year being higher. You couple that with the January effect. And we think even though with more volatility, the end of the year in 2018, the markets will be higher. So what should you do? Well, I suggest that you put on your seatbelt, strap on your helmet, focus on your goals, ignore the noise, and use the impending volatility to your advantage. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio built for volatility or do I have a collection of investments? Why sit there and wonder when you can know? Give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. You can text us or call us at 844-752-6692. Time for some New York City trivia. Did you know in the winter of 1780, it was so cold that the New York Harbor froze over? You could have walked from Manhattan to Staten Island on the ice. Let's hope it doesn't get that cold ever again. Although, if you had some sled dogs, it could do wonders for the commute. Anyway, keep listening to No Pain, No Gain. Mush! It's Ryan Payne. Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I's mission in life is to educate you. We're going to give you common sense. 
practical advice that you can use to make the best decisions about your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our newest guide, the highlights of the new tax reform. So you're up to date with all the new tax reforms. You know what to do with your portfolio. You can simply download it for free if you text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555 888-888. You can get our latest guide. Just gives you all the highlights on the new tax reform. Make sure you're tax ready for 2018. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. Download our newest guide for free at 555-888. Simply text the word bullish. And in this segment, we want to talk about longevity risk. The death rate for human beings is still hovering right around 100%, Bob. (laughs) <laughs> still 100 percent. Still 100 percent. It hasn't changed. Have you verified that number? Is um, that uh, statistically correct? I'm going to check the internet and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you. But even though it is still 100 percent for the death rate, lifespans are continuing to increase. So therefore, when we're talking about your retirement plan, one of the biggest risks is how long you're going to live. And Bob, just out of curiosity, you know, who is your oldest client, or how old is your oldest client, rather? My oldest client is 94 years old and going strong. Wow, 94. That's amazing. How long mm-hmm. has that uh, client been a client? Been a client for a long time. And the nice thing was that uh, before he started working with us, he, he kind of managed his own investments. And when I sat down with him for the first time, I'll never forget this. He said, Bob, I made a lot of mistakes. But he said, one mistake I'm not going to make as I get older, I'm not going to put my wife's life at stake I want to make sure this money's secure, and that's why I'm, I'm going to come to you and, and trust you to help me. Wow. Yeah, and I think that's that's a good point because what we find is you might be the one in your household who manages the money, and maybe it's your spouse, but someone in the relationship manages the money, and even if you're running everything, you're on the ball, if you're not on God's green earth anymore, that can be a big problem for your spouse, and I think that's sure definitely is. You know, There's always uh, you know an un, uh, uninterested or non-financial spouse in every joint account relationship I've ever worked with, Rye, over the last 42 years. Yeah, I'm, it's pretty uncanny, but it's usually one or the other that deals with the finances. I think that's, sure. that's true. Yeah. But from a financial perspective, the other thing is you've got a client who's 94 years old, mm-hmm. and you know what are some of the risks with living longer in terms of our portfolios. When you live longer, it's you know the one risk that you have that you share with everyone that you know is the risk of inflation. Inflation's hidden, it's insidious, it's constant. You know, it works against you day by day. You know, the cost of living doubles every 20 years, right? Just at the low rates of inflation that we've had recently. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, you've got cost of living going up, and then the good news, bad news, which you talked about last segment is medical costs. You know, the longer you live, the higher odds is you're going to have medical issues, and they cost money, which means you need more money in retirement. Well, you know, the biggest fear you have is becoming a burden to your children or grandchildren. You know, when you're retired, when you've had a successful life, you want to be able to help your children and grandchildren. Last thing you want to do is become a burden on the same people that you love. And I, that's the biggest fear you have when you don't plan properly. Yeah, and that's why modeling things out is so, so critical. And that's why I love our 360 portal, Bob, because you get that holistic view where it's just so therapeutic to say, Let, let's load everything into one place. Let's tally up all the assets that you have so we know exactly where everything is. We know exactly what everything's doing. And then from there, we can have a lot of fun with those what-if scenarios. We can look at like, okay, if inflation goes up by 3.1% a year, if you do have extended medical expenses within retirement, if you want to take a couple of vacations every year, if you do live in 90, 95, what impact does that have on your portfolio? And what rate of return do you need to achieve on your portfolio? You know, all these really, really critical variables that we can play around with once we get that holistic view built for you. Well, you know, right, it sounds simple, but some people just won't do it. I, I sat with a client last week. I now call him the financial onion. Financial onion. Why <laughs> financial, He's a onion. financial onion? Well, first Elaborate, of all, Bob. First of all, is is I wanted him to sit down and do the three hundred and sixty financial portal. He fought me tooth and nail, but guess who made him sit down with me? His spouse. Absolutely. You know what she said? <laughs> I don't know where anything is. And he said, "Well, it's simple. It's all in that drawer. If something happens to me. Just pull out that drawer. You know where everything is." So we started pulling out everything into that drawer, and we kept finding more and more things. It was like peeling an onion. So thus, the financial onion. And guess what, Rye? He didn't know where everything was. She didn't know where everything was. And she didn't have access to any of the information. Everything was in his name. (laughs) 
that's the thing too. I mean, you don't even, the funny thing is when you accumulate wealth over a long period of time, you forget about things that are out there that you don't even know still exist. And I, I just love that. I love that thought of just like, let's find where everything is collectively and let's put it in one view so we really know where we stand financially. Yeah, typically what you find in that drawer, you have insurance policies that have lapsed. You have investments that uh, have more in cash than you anticipated. You have investments that have incredibly high cost that um, after expenses, you're really not making any money. You're actually losing money to inflation. So it, there's no harm in knowing what you have and knowing why you own it. But there's a lot of harm if you pass away and your spouse doesn't know where anything is. Yeah, exactly right. And I think that that's, that's probably one of the biggest mistakes we make when we quote unquote or do it yourselfers is you know we only think about things when we're here. We don't think about things when we might not be here anymore. And I think it's just so critical that uh, you know both spouses are on the same page. Also, and just you know to factor in longevity. You know if we're going to live longer, you know you really need to retweak your portfolio, and you need to do it often to make sure you're addressing all those different variables that come up when you're retired. That's a great and point, right? Right? We retire. just talked about that on our quarterly conference call, right? If you're if you're 65 right now and you're married, happily married, even unhappily married. Guess what? Yeah. One of the spouses is going to live to what age, do you think? At least, I mean, women live to, on average, are living longer and longer to age 90 is, is even more common for women than men. Yeah, and that's uh, if you're 65. Now, if you have children who are under 50, if you're under 50 like you are and your brother and sister, you're going to live to 100, maybe 125. Can you wow. imagine Ryan Payne at 125? It's not pretty. It's not pretty now. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Payne will be 135. There'll be pains everywhere. There's going to be pains forever. <laughs> yeah, it just might not be pretty, Bob. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just might not be, right? But, you know, if you're sitting there wondering, you know, what happens to me? What happens to my family if I live, you know, past my life expectancy? Will I be able to sustain my lifestyle? Uh, will I be able to overcome inflation and taxation? Will I be able to achieve my financial goals? Why sit there and wonder when you can know if you're one of the next few callers, and you've saved at least 200000 for your retirement, you know, we'll do. We'll, we'll run a total financial master plan for you. No obligation, no cost. This is the full holistic review. We're even going to give you access to our 360 financial portal so you can sit there and play what if with your scenario to see what happens if you live longer, what happens if inflation goes up, what happens if your taxes go up. You know, We're going to do a full review of your taxes, of your legal documents. We want to be certain that your estate plan is not an IOU to the IRS. But you know, lastly, we're gonna look at your portfolio. We're gonna provide you with our full portfolio X-ray, which breaks down all the key elements of a successful investment portfolio. Diversification, fees, and income. You know, income is much more dependable than capital gains. We wanna be certain that you're optimizing the income in your portfolio. You know, the biggest fear I have and biggest fear people that you have in your portfolio, am I being overcharged? Am I being overcharged by those hidden insidious costs that are buried deep in the prospectus of the mutual fund or in that huge insurance contract? We don't like people being overcharged. We think reducing fees is the key element of a successful portfolio. And diversification, we want to be sure that you're properly protected, that you're getting the return for the risk that you're assuming in your portfolio. And finally, we're gonna tie it all together into one customized view, which will answer that age old question. Are you gonna outlive your money or is your money gonna outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my son and I have been perfecting now for over four decades. We wanna help your family as we've helped many families get from their financial point A to their point B, to their goals, to their dreams with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as fiduciaries can provide. So don't waste time. Give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. Call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, this is a full holistic review. Give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. Call or text 844 752 Six six nine two. Don't waste time. Get a real review at eight four four Plan NYC. That's call or text eight four four seven five two six six nine two. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's 
time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where we scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. Bob, what did you find out there in the financial media this week that was just so horrific that you want to talk about it today on this show? Actually, Riley, it was really good advice. Not sure I quite understand it, but they, they said in this article that the big mistake investors make once they hit a million dollars in their 401k is they go skiing. Go skiing. Do you have any problem with going, going out to ski? I'm not following this. So if you have a million dollars now in your 401k, it's time to go out to the slopes? What's going on here? Well, no, they don't want you to do that. But actually, it's not skiing as in snow skiing. It's spending your kid's inheritance. SKI. Spending our kid's inheritance is what skiing is called. And <laughs> I don't like that at all, do, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they don't want you to go skiing. And it's, um, you know, a lot of wealthy people, they live by that, right? They spend money on wine and cruises to Europe and second, third, and fourth homes, whatever strikes their fancy. But, you know, even though you have a million dollars in your 401k, that doesn't make you rich. No, that's right. That's right. I mean, if you think about it, we talked about in the last segment, longevity risk and everything else that you're going to have to pay for in retirement. A million dollars does not get you what it used to get you. You know, it certainly is not, you know, in most cases enough to retire on. But a lot of people think they are and they're out there skiing, spending their kids' inheritance. And, you know, what what happens when you withdraw from a 401k? I think this is something people forget about, right? That's exactly right, Bob. If you pull from your 401k, you have to pay taxes on that money. So even if it's a million dollars, you're not taking a million dollars out. Uncle Sam's getting his piece of that as well. Absolutely. So you have, you know, you're, you're reducing the amount of corpus. Uh, a lot of times people just take it out willy nilly. They don't really think about harvesting the right part of the portfolio like you do for your clients. And we also, you know, what they also don't factor in is that we've been in a big boom and bull market here for eight or nine years. And last I checked, they haven't repealed that old adage, markets revert to the mean. That's right. That's right. Just because that a million dollars today, you can't project the future out based on your most recent experience. And bull markets and bear markets will come and go. And you have to remember, it's not always going to be rosy colored sunglasses on when it comes to the street of dreams. Yeah. So, you know, just to sum it up, Rye, if you withdraw too much, too soon, and you poorly time it, going skiing could be catastrophic to your net worth. (laughs) Remember that, Bob, because you want your kids to inherit lots of money. (laughs) Oh, This is true. I was was talking to your brother and sister the other day. (laughs) Oh, you're one of my kids too. I forgot. Um, So, Rye, that was a really good article. What did you find out there in the world of financial pornography? Well, I found one that I found over and over this past week. Uh, You know, the markets had a huge run up already this year, but we did get a sell off this past week. You know, we saw a couple days where the market was down a couple hundred points. And headlines like this, Bob, were kind of unnerving. I saw Dow Jones tumbles. Is this the beginning of a U.S. stock market crash? It's amazing. The market's been going straight up. You get a couple days when the market sells off. All of a sudden now, everyone's anticipating some sort of crash in the stock market. So there hasn't been more than a two-day pullback in the market for months. And suddenly one down day makes everybody think the market's going to crash. Exactly right. And I, I have a lot of inquiries from clients, people from the radio that listen in, listeners asking me, you know, is this the crash coming? How do I prepare for it? And the reality of it is, No one really knows if this is going to be a market crash right now, but I think some things you have to think about is, number one, this is the most hated bull market of all time. And why is that, Bob? Well, I love this bull market, but the people who are sitting in cash, I would give me a guess. How much money do you think is actually sitting on the sidelines right now? Are you talking about specifically us investors in savings accounts? Well, just talk about the M2 number. You know, people, I'm talking about money in 401ks, IRAs, pension, endowments, hedge funds. How much is sitting in cash as of the end of last year? I know it's a high number. I'm going to say somewhere around $10 trillion. $15.5 trillion with a T. Wow. Wow. Now, those people have got to hate this bull market because they missed it. Yeah, and I think that's a problem right now. And I think if you're sitting there saying, well, I'm going to wait for a correction to put my money into the market, because there's a good chance you were sitting with a lot of cash on the sidelines. Maybe after 2008, you really felt the pain, no pun intended, when the market pulled back. And you're sitting there with a lot of cash waiting for that next 
cataclysmic decline, it just might not happen. And I think that's something you have to think about right now. This market may not come back down. It may keep going higher because so many people have missed investing in it. So I think it's almost foolish right now to be sitting in, on the sidelines in cash or taking your money out because you think there's going to be a crash. You know, Ryan, you can't predict short-term events, right? But you do know about probabilities. And I think a lot of people, and, and you know, I don't blame them, they're, they're scared, they're freaked out by what happened in 2008, followed by what happened in 2000. You know, 46 to 50% decline is frightening. But what are the probabilities of a financial crash? What percentage of the time do they occur? I'm going to say, in my best estimation, probably 20% of the time. A half of 1%. So it's, it's a very half of rare. 1%. It's that rare. Right. So, all so I think really what you have to do is, is you have to change the way you think and become a process-driven investor as opposed to an event-driven investor because then you're a long-term investor. And guess what? You love volatility. You embrace volatility because every correction is an opportunity to rebalance your portfolio. Yeah, exactly right. So it comes down to it's never all or nothing. And that's what I kind of like about it. What well, you want to think about is if the market keeps going higher, I have money in the market to participate. However, if the market does pull back, I also have the protection in my portfolio. You know, why do we always have to feel like we have to live by the sword, die by the sword? And I think that's sometimes the mentality that's very dangerous when it comes to investing because the media, financial pornography, always makes you feel like there's either a black or white answer to what you need to do. Market's gonna crash, need to take all my money out of the market. Market's gonna go much higher, I need to have all my money in the market. In the reality, you know, we don't really know what's gonna happen next, and the best way to really account for these things, Bob, to your point, is figure out what your goals are, and then build a portfolio that anticipates everything that could happen, uh, as opposed to an all or nothing solution. And if you're sitting there thinking to yourself, I need a goal-based allocation that anticipates everything, here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan. This is a real holistic review where we analyze all of your assets. You bring in all your statements. When they come in at the end of the month, we'll take everything and we'll build you your own personalized portal so we can look at everything on a holistic view. Furthermore, if you bring in your tax return, we'll have our CPA partner review that to make sure you're not paying unnecessary taxes. If you bring in all those old legal docs, you know those wills and trusts that you updated 20 years ago, we have an estate planner that'll review that at no cost to let you know what you may want to update on your estate. And then finally, we're going to analyze all of your investments on our famous financial x-ray where we're going to look at fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? What hidden costs do you have in your portfolio? Bob and I are going to break them all out for you and show you how to potentially reduce costs on your portfolio. What about income? Income is critical in retirement. Can you increase or optimize the amount of income on your portfolio? Bob and I are going to show you how to do that. And we're going to look at diversification. Do you have an all-weather portfolio? If the market has a crash, are you protected? If the market continues to go higher, are you participating? We're going to show you where all the pitfalls are in your portfolio. Then finally, we're going to tie it all together and we're going to determine, are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Here's your chance to make your family financially secure. Give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. You can call or text us at 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over 200,000 for retirement, our team will run for you your own personal total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but you have to call 844-PLAN-NYC. Call or text us at 844-752-6692. This is Bob. I'm with Rye. We are No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Are these for us? Are these for us? Are these bagels for everybody? Are these for us? Grab a New York bagel, lather on some cream cheese, and keep listening to No Pain, No Gain. You know, if they're not from New York, they're not real bagels. It's No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I, 
We want to educate you. We want to make sure that you always have the best, most timely information, most common sense, practical advice. And that's why we put together our latest guide, the highlights of the new tax reform to make sure that you're prepared for taxes. If you want to download it, you can simply download it for free. If you text the word bullish, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555 555- 888, get all the highlights of the new tax reform so you're prepared for 2018. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. You can download your free copy. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about me and Bob and realize that Bob is not just a voice on the radio, but he's a very handsome man, you can check us out on the web at bebullish.com. Uh, We also put some articles up there, things that we're thinking about timely that you can check out, a lot of different resources. So simply go to bebullish.com and you can learn more about myself and Bob and our firm, Payne Capital Management. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can email us directly, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I will answer all your questions directly. And if it's a really good question, We're going to answer it right here on the show. And like every week, we got some very good questions. And the first one that came in, came in from Lou Bob. He's in South Jersey. He writes in, Bob, everyone makes money in a bull market. As an advisor, what tools do you use to preserve your stock market position and say, let's go to cash? Be specific. You know, Lou, that's a great question. And it's a question I've been getting a lot. You know, different versions of your question I hear almost on a daily basis. And I think a lot of it has to do with the market making new highs. I mean, believe it or not, we've made 14 new highs on the S&P and the Dow in 2018 already. 14 new highs. So people think, well, because the market crashed from a new high. Of course, markets always crash from a new high, right? It has to start at some point, but the market always goes higher afterwards. So, Ryan, I got three questions for you that maybe we can help Lou with his question. My first question is, you know, I've been in the investment business now for 42 years. Just a couple. Name the one person I met, and I know personally, or I know of, who's timed the market successfully over the last 42 years. I mean, the only person I can think of is God, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> well, God's really good at timing the market, but unfortunately, you don't get to hear his views until you're there. And so that doesn't help you while you're you know, on God's green earth. Now, second question I have is who's the smartest investor in our lifetime? Warren Buffett, hands down. Hands down. What year did he go to cash? Never. He's always invested in the market. Always invested. So he believes the market goes up over time, that every dip in history has been temporary, and the ups have been inevitable because that's exactly what history demonstrates. The third question is, you know, in a balanced portfolio, you're going to have stocks. And if you have a bond portfolio and you have bonds that have what we call permanence and definition, you have a fixed coupon bond with a fixed maturity, how much money do you get back when the bond matures? All of it, Bob. All of it, yes. So you go to cash when the bond comes due and then you reinvest it. And if rates are higher, you invest at a higher rate. So timing the market, you know, trying to drive your performance through events and listening to some charlatan who says they can predict what's unpredictable and know what's unknowable is another example of bull market suicide. And the problem with market timing is once you get out and you're convinced you're right, you gotta make another decision, when to get back in. Then you gotta make another decision, when to get back out. Then you gotta make another decision, when to get back in. My (laughs) my head's spinning, Rye, how about you? My head's spinning as well. It's uh, it, it's not a great way to create wealth over time. That's for sure. Yeah, and I think that's maybe the theme of the show today is don't have an all or nothing solution because there's no one who can predict with 100% certainty what the future is going to bring. Which also I brings love me too, to is people always talk about the market. Well, there's a lot of stock markets out there, right? There's you know, 19 European countries that are invested that you could invest in. There's, you know, 48% of the world's stock market capitalization exists out of the U.S. You know, last year, emerging markets were up close to 40%. They're up 11% year to date. If you're timing the market, do you have to time all these markets, right? Can you time Thailand, Japan, China, India, U.S., Latin America? I mean, it's it's confusing if you're trying to be smart about every market that that's trading in, in the public marketplace yeah. today. 
That's a great point, and I think that's another big mistake that you're most likely making right now is how diversified is your portfolio. You know, really, you should never have to make an all-or-none decision if you have money spread out over different markets because your point, Bob, different markets work at different times, and that's why we always advocate for having a global portfolio. And statistically, in every portfolio that I review, there's a good chance when looking at your portfolio, that you might be skewed to the U.S. by Mm -hmm. the tune of like 70% of your money. That's not proper diversification. That's what I call living by the sword, dying by the sword. Mm, So true. So, Rai, uh, that was a great question for Lou, and I hope that helps. What else is in our mailbag this week? Well, we got another question on the same vein. This is Steve out on Long Island. He writes in, based on the length of this bull market and past history, Many financial pundits, aka financial pornography, say that it is reasonable to expect a market correction. When and how severe is really anyone's guess, but there seems to be a consensus that we should be prepared. Many suggest taking some money off the table, and this is the subject of my question. What would you consider to be a reasonable approach and technique for doing this? Again, don't time the market, Steve. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> It Nobody work. does it well. <laughs> no one Nobody's does it well. Tears. Yeah, exactly. Tears of regret. Uh, tears of That's regret. That's strategy, right? The tears of regret yeah. strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's sum this up really easily. You want a globally diversified portfolio that doesn't anticipate what the market's going to do next. See, that's the advantage, Rye, of having a process-driven strategy versus an event-driven strategy, which is based on something that can't be done. Process-driven strategy makes you a long-term investor, and then you embrace the downside volatility of the market because it gives you an opportunity to create future wealth. So, Rye, I have a question for you. When you meet someone and you ask them on a scale of 1 to 10, how organized are you financially? What do they usually tell you? I mean, the reality of it is we're probably somewhere around a three or four if we're lucky. Yeah, where do you think people want to be? Don't we all want to be a 10, Bob? Yeah, sure we do, and we should be. And all you need to do to be a 10 is be one of our next 10 callers. See, if you saved over 200000 for retirement, my son and I, Ryan, will create for you your own customized 360 financial portal. This means you know all those account numbers, all those password security questions that you have for every bank account, every brokerage account, every insurance policy, every credit card, even your mortgage. Virtually everything with a statement and online access can be simplified and organized into one financial portal. Wouldn't it be amazing to be financially organized? If something happened to you, think how easy it will be for your children or your spouse to keep your life working or transition your financial affairs in a worst case scenario. See, if you're one of the next 10 callers, what we're going to do for you is create for you our total financial master plan. This is a plan that will look at all of your investments in a holistic view and make sure that you're not being overcharged on the cost of your portfolio, that you're fully diversified, that you're optimizing the income that you're going to need in retirement. And what we'll do with our 360 financial portal, it's answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that we've been perfecting now for over 40 years. That's four decades of helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a fiduciary can provide. So don't waste time. Call us now at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's call or text 844-752-6692. If you have over $200,000 safe for retirement and you're one of the next 10 callers, give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's call or text 844 752 Six six nine two. This is a holistic financial review. Take advantage at eight four four plan NYC. That's call or text eight four four seven five two six six nine two. This is no pain, no gain financial radio. Here's this week's spotlight on no pain, no gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain. And Bob and I want to educate you. We want to just make sure that, as always, you have the most practical, common sense advice when it comes to your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest guide, 
highlights of the new tax reform. We want to make sure that you're ready for 2018. You can download a copy for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. You can download our latest guide on tax reform. Be ready for this year. Just the highlights at 555-888. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. And now it's time for our spotlight segment. This is where we dissect a real financial plan and we uncover what we call the flaws or pain points. That's P-A-Y-N-E. So you can avoid the same mistakes with your own planning and investing. And we do have a very special guest on the show this morning. Michelle McKinnon, my colleague, certified financial planner, seen on CNBC. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. No problem. I did find the time. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> uh, well, you worked on a case this past week, or this is an older case that you worked on. Why don't you give us the rundown on this actual retirement plan? Yeah. Super nice people came into the office and very much like a lot of other clients that I see, never really ran retirement projections. So they were very nervous about the future. They really never, they, they knew what they were spending, but they did not know that it was going to last them through retirement. And they never even looked at the plan. They never ever had a plan. So that's number one. And uh, number two, Ryan, like time and time again, it's like, it's a collection of investments with no home, right? Got all these different investments, doing all these different things. And no one has ever actually pulled everything together and said, okay, why are we in this? Why are we in that? You know, what kind of goals are we trying to achieve here? Right. It's just what we see a lot of times is you may just you may just have a collection of investments as opposed to like a holistic plan where everything's working together. Yeah, I think that age old question, you know, do you know what you own and do you know why you own it? Absolutely. And I think the why is uh, is always the biggest question. And when looking at their portfolio, they had number one, a ton of cash. And um, not that cash is bad when you're in retirement in terms of keeping a certain amount in savings right. in regards to your expenses. I'm always a fan for that. However, cash is making you 0%. And then when you consider inflation, and people have been saying for years that inflation isn't happening well, we're finally starting to see inflation, you know, you're know, you getting a negative return. You're almost getting a 2 to 2.5% two negative return by sitting in cash, Ryan. Cash is trash. And secondly, lack of diversification. Extreme concentration in the U.S. equities, the S&P 500, and no exposure to the international markets, which actually outperformed last year, and uh, energy commodity markets. So they were really pigeonholing themselves in just a couple of asset classes. And this is well, when you invest in a vacuum, this is what typically happens, right? You don't know how much is enough. You don't know what it means to own what you have. You use the trend as your friend, so you invest in whatever went up last year. You never anticipate you know, that that might not go up in a straight line. This is so usual of what we see, not unusual, wouldn't you say, Michelle? Absolutely. Yeah, and I, I see the, the old irony of they have six or seven different accounts, and a lot of times we think, well, we're diversified because we have all these different accounts, <laughs> but when we look at this in a holistic view, and that's why I love the fact you built this portal here, Michelle, you can see they have all their eggs in the same basket because everything's invested the same across different accounts, which that's that's the problem. You don't know if you're really diversified even though you have money in different places. If you own Apple in six different accounts, is that diversification? <laughs> yeah, no. Yes, just because you have <laughs> multiple different holdings is not you know signal diversification. And um, lastly, I think you know concerns about medical costs, concerns mm -hmm. about long-term care, needs for providing because ultimately, you know, making those decisions of whether to get long-term care insurance or not, or even if you're, you know, too old to get long-term care insurance and too old could even mean, you know, in your fifties and sixties. So I'm, I'm sure. not, I'm not judging there, but just really having the conversation and saying, am uh, I prepared and what can I do? And uh, we need to have a plan. Hmm. Yeah. Now what were you able to do? What recommendations did you make then to remedy the situation now that they're in their late 60s and, and retired. What did you recommend they do? Yeah, number one, you got to get invested in regards to your cash because you're missing out on uh, yield. You're missing out on performance. You're doing yourself a, a disservice. Uh, number two, you have to have a plan, right? Once mm -hmm. you have a plan, you'll feel more confident about the future. And then number three, we were actually able to increase their cash flow almost $16,000 per year. 
And wow. over a 20 year period, that's almost $350,000. That's your long term care policy right there. Yeah. So this is this is not maybe if uh, the market goes up. This is just increased interest and dividends that are paid every year, no matter what the economy or the market's doing. Exactly. Yeah, and I think that's something we talked about earlier on the show today. It's and this is the perfect example of you know they had a wealth accumulation portfolio in place where they have over sixty percent of the money at risk in the markets, all mm-hmm. concentrated in in growth, large cap U.S. Uh, which is great when you're just adding money blindly and you're not thinking about at some point you're going to draw from your portfolio. And to be able to properly diversify like you're showing here, Michelle, add another $22,000 a year in income, which is very reliable. And you know what I like to look at is that if we hit a down market, they're much better protected based on what you're recommending looking at where they are right now. It's a huge difference. Yeah. And they're also super amazing, nice people. So that helps. Because <laughs> now they're clients. Yes, you're exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a success story if I've ever heard one. Uh, and if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need to get serious about getting my portfolio retirement writing. I want to review just like this. I want to sit down with a certified financial planner who's on CNBC as well. Here's your shot to do it. We have a couple slots left. If you're one of the next few callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, and Michelle will run for you a total financial master plan and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a review just like this. We're going to take all of your assets, take all your statements, and load everything into a personalized portal for you so we can have a holistic view of your total financial picture. We're gonna model out retirement. We're gonna look at what you're gonna need through retirement, what risks you have in retirement, and we're gonna do a full analysis of your portfolio with our famous portfolio X-ray. We're gonna look at income. We're able to increase this couple's income by $22,000 a year. Can we increase the income on your portfolio? We're gonna look at diversification. This portfolio had way too much money in large cap growth stocks had no protection in the portfolio. We're going to show you how to protect your portfolio against any crash or downturns in the future. And we looked at fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? We're going to show you how to potentially reduce costs on your portfolio. Then finally, we're going to tie it all together and we're going to determine, are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now we've worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. There's only a few spots left, so don't miss out. Give us a call, 844-PLAN-NYC. You can call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over $200,000 for your retirement, our team will run for you your own personal total financial master plan. No obligation, no cost. Just give us a call, 844-PLAN-NYC. Call or text 844 752-6692. Seven five two six six nine two. Well, another fantastic show this morning, Michelle. Important question for you. Oh boy, <laughs> well, who's going to win the Super Bowl? Eagles. <laughs> All right, I like you. I like you better than I used to. I like you more and more every day. <laughs> where are you watching the game, Bob? Well, Riley, it's not so much where I'm watching. I'm just trying to figure out how am I going to get the chicken wings and the cheese steaks in the house past your mom. <laughs> Good luck, Bob. Yeah. Good luck with that. The <laughs> Eagles have a better chance of winning the Super Bowl than that. <laughs> you know, crudite well, is not my idea of a Super Bowl meal. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we'll have a great weekend. Have a great Super Bowl weekend. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.